Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Glitzy Jam. For those who are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also give my video a thumbs up because it helps out my channel. Um, yeah, once you hit the notification bell, it notifies you when I upload another video. So please do that. Don't forget to do that before you leave and make sure you subscribe. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and pulling out my vault, the Jackton Hill vault. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out one of the palettes that are in here. My fellow YouTuber, um, Carlos from Truly MKE, he, uh, he had did a tutorial on this palette and it kind of like made me want to try it out as well because I've had it in my collection. I haven't tried it and I, it's just sitting there just collecting dust. So I felt like, well, let me just try it and see what I look, what I, what I look I can create out of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use her brushes as well. I have her Jaclyn Hill brushes. And I also have a highlighter um, Carlos had used in his video here. I will go ahead and link his video, the one he did with the this Jaclyn Hill palette at the description bar at the bottom. So you can watch his video and see the look he created with this eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to try to create one as well. So um I'm going to try it. So <laughs> let's get started with this. So I want to go ahead and put some tape along the side. So I'm going to do like a smoky eye today. Well, today, tonight. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and create a smoky eye. So I'm going to go ahead and put tape underneath here so I can get that V shape. I just like it so much better with tape. I know I can use you know the plastic that comes inside the um the palette you can use that like a little guide also for for the wing for your smoky eye but uh, i like i'm so used to using i like tape i look i know it looks tacky but um it works for me <laughs> it works for me so i will try it i will try this tape also, I didn't mention the manicure of the day. I will right now after I found this tape. I'm just so excited to do this video because um, I have not, I'm excited because I have not used any of Jaclyn Hill's collection. And I have quite a few of her palettes in my collection and I want to use. I just didn't know when or find the time when to use them. And when I watched Carlos's video, that kind of like pushed me or gave me a nudge to want to try her collection so um the manicure of the day is this here it looks black but they're actually it's a dark navy blue the polish that i got it got in one of, i got it in one of my ipsy bags it's the uh, <clears throat> misha beauty brand and the nail polish that i'm using is uh in the shade hashtag nyfw which, if nobody knows what that means, it means uh, New York. For those who don't know what NF NYFW means, it means New York Fashion Week. So, that's the, the, the polish I'm wearing now. It's like a navy blue, dark blue, and perfect for this palette. Because this palette, palette is a really dark palette. Um, it's the name Dark Magic. Um... So it's a dark palette, which kind of intimidates me because it's a dark palette, but it's challenging as well. And I was saying to myself, why Carlos? Why did you use? No, but that's, that's him. He wanted to use the dark magic palette. That's, that's his thing. And I wanted to go ahead and try it as well, but it, it's intimidating, but at the same time challenging. So I want to try to challenge myself as well in creating looks with palettes that scare me, you know, with the shades that they have, because look how dark it is. Look how bold. I just don't know what kind of look I can create. I mean, look at this. I mean, I know it flatters my skin tone, but at the same time, it's like, where do I start, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eye. I'm going to see what kind of brushes Jacqueline, Hill's in, Jacqueline Hill has in her Jacqueline Hill collection. This is by Morphe. Actually, you know, this is the Morphe by Jacqueline Hill collection. So I'm going to see what's in the collection here. So I see these brushes are brand new. So what can I use for my eyeshadow? I think I'm going to go ahead and use like a flat 
brush, flat detailed brush like this here. Maybe something I can use for like a cut crease like this one here. This is the Jaclyn Hill 42, JH42. And I'm going to use the Morphe Translucent Eyeshadow Primer. It says translucent, but it looks like a, like a nude shade. So it's not translucent, it's nude. But it'll go on translucent. Pretty sure that's what it meant. It's going to go on translucent, so... but it feels comfortable you know because I'm so used to like feeling either like a tacky base or something that mattifies on my lid and this one doesn't this one just kind of just seeped into my my lid that's how it feels like it feels like it just seeped into this lid I guess that's how good it is I should say so go ahead and close my primer so I want to hit my with that Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use her JH33 brush, which is the Universal, Universal, <laughs> it's a Universal Blender brush. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this shade called, Shh, this one right here, this brown one. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my transition shade. Uh, there's just a little kick up in the pan. But uh, it's it's blending into my crease. I like it. And I'm just spreading it out towards the tape. And I don't care if I get it on my lid because I'm going to do a cut crease. So I'm going to get some on my lid. I just want to make sure I have that. I have this on my crease. Just to kind of give me like a, a base to... To go darker because I want to do I want to do like a smoky eye look with it. You know, since it's dark shades, I mean, pretty sure you can create a nice, you know, natural look as well for work. You know, but um, I'm gonna try to see if I can go bold. Try to see if I can go bold here. Okay, all right. So I do have my brush changer, color changer here. I need to use the same brush again. Smaller brush here is the JH40, uh, which is the precise blending brush. I'm going to use the shade Temptress. So I'm going to start with my outer corner first. This Temptress has more of like a, has like, like little specks in it, like glitter specks in it here. I'm not sure if you can see it. I don't think the camera's been doing it, doing it any justice, but it's this one here, this corner. I'm going to use that for the outer corner. I'm going to go dark. Like I said, I want to do like a smoky eye. And I want to make sure that my line, my line is how I want it with my tape. So here we go. Do it all on the outer corner. And just blend. Blend it on my outer V. Just keep blending it. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here so I can do the other side. And just do the same thing on the other end, okay? See how I'm extending it out? kind of far so um, and I'm also bringing in bringing bringing it in closer towards the crease but very little because this is a small precise brush so it's it's very minimal that you're gonna get in the crease okay so let me do okay so let me pause the video and I'll do the other eye I'll be right back Okay, so I'm back. I went ahead and I did the same thing on this eye. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this blue shade called Busted. And I'm going to do that also with the smaller, my JH40 uh, brush from our collection, which is called a Precise Blending Brush. And I'm going to put that all in the crease as well. In the crease. 
and just like a little bit on the outer corner I do gotta say the powders are really like not as pigmented as I expected them to be. They kind of almost feel like they move around, like they um, like I'm not able to kind of get a really good blend. But I'm I'm gonna work with it. I'm gonna work with it. Okay, so I'm gonna do uh, the same thing on the other end here. And you know, blue is not my forte, so <clears throat> this is a challenge for me. I'm going to go ahead and go into the lid with the shade um, Mojo. It's this brown shade here. I'm going to go ahead and go in with it. I'm going to use a packing brush. This is the JH41, which is... The all over lid brush so I'm gonna use that to use a shade um, mojo this one here it's a brown color the on the lid just to make it go dark So this is, I'm sorry, I'm blocking the light, aren't I? So this is how it's looking now. Let me get you closer. So this is how it's looking now. Getting that smoky eye effect. Get that brown there in the center. Okay. And I think we're done. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to do more than this. Um, I do. I did want to do a cut crease and use this shimmer shade called Power Cut. Maybe I can use that in the in the crease, like in the center of the eye. I guess I have a lot of eye. I feel like I still have a lot of eye space that I can actually use more shades. So I think I'm gonna use this um, bigger blender here and it's in the, in the JH32. JH32 is a transition blender brush so it's probably the brush I should have used at first but I didn't so I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with some um I'm gonna go in with the shade shh again shh you know for my transition shade and I'm gonna go ahead and use that above the crease Just blend that above this right here by the by the brow bone blend in the shade poof right where that brow bone is and the color that I used um, the sh color that I used right up here just blend that out with the shade poof Okay, 
So I went ahead and I blended those two shades together. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off now. Take the stickers, these off, this tape off. I can get you closer. I can get you closer or not. I can't get you closer, but. So this is the eye look that I created using her palette. I'm gonna. I'm not done there. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna go ahead and use um, this JH43 brush eyeliner smudge brush for the waterline, and I'm gonna go ahead and use. Um, first, I'm gonna go in with an eyeliner. This eyeliner with this eyeliner brush, right? Eyeliner smudge brush. I'm gonna smudge this color. All on my waterline here. gonna help it I'm, I'm just gonna use the eyeliner itself and go across the waterline and then smudge it with the eyeliner brush okay smudge this eyeliner with the smudge brush And then I'm going to go in with the shade Potion or Inside Job. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Inside Job, which is this green one here. I'm going to go ahead and use that at the bottom as well. I didn't mean to. My video cut me off there. When I'm in the zone, I'm in the zone. So sorry if I blocked you, but I went ahead and I used in, I used my inside job right here on the waterline with the black eyeliner, gel eyeliner, and it's looking pretty nice. I like this inside job shade. Um, I don't know if I should press my press my chances and see if I can go ahead and use the shade potion for the bottom waterline as well. I just want to see how that'll look. What kind of look it'll give me using potion, which is this um, chartreuse color. I don't know. Maybe the inside draw might have overpowered, might overpower this shade. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna swatch it, you guys, so you can see what I'm talking about. That's the color I want it on my waterline, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep keep at it. I think I've accomplished putting potion in there with the inside job. Now for the cut crease, so I'm gonna use my Milani. Eyeshadow primer because that was a really good cut crease brush. I'm gonna use a little cut crease. Use this brush here, this little detailed brush. I used to put my primer on to put this cut crease to do this cut crease. Start from the inner corner. To the center. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing for the other eye. I've already did the cut crease. I'm gonna go ahead and use. Hmm. 
what other brush do I have to use? I'm going to use my, what is it called? My JH41, which is the all over lid brush. And I'm just going to use it. I'm going to use the shade Power Cut, which is this one here on the lid. I put the concealer eye or eyeshadow primer cut crease base on. I'm gonna go ahead and use that power cut shade there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the smaller brush that I was using for the for the um, with the primers clean it off and I'm gonna go ahead and put some more brown some more mojo and just kind of blend that in onto the side of a power cut to give this lid the color I wanted it you know, I'm going to go darker and darker, so. Which I'm going to use that shade, um, Temptress, which is the black shade. Also. First, I'm going to use Busted right here in the outer corner. Busted. Which is the blue shade, right? On the side of the brown, use Busted, which is a blue shade. And then I'm going to go ahead and use temptress which is a black shade and that one I'll go ahead and do for the wing the outer wing again so I'm gonna go ahead and use my smaller brush use temptress again just out here on the outer corner on the outer wing V shape Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use the inner corner brush here so that I can use that same shade power cut. I'm going to use that in my inner corner. I'm going to wet it. Use my Morphe setting spray to wet it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and use that power cut shade for my inner corner. this inner corner brush it's supposed to be for the inner corner but I'm also going to use it for um, my brow bone wet it again use the same shade power cut and I'm going to go ahead and use that for my brow bone create a 
with this look. my gems so I'm gonna go ahead and come off camera because I know I took a long time putting um showing you how I applied this how, how I created this look I know it took a long time but um it was worth it so um I'll be right back I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up put some lashes on put the rest of my makeup on and I'll be right back well well there you have it my gems this is the finishing look but we still have one more thing to do we still had to put on the highlighter and the setting mist so I really enjoyed doing this tutorial it was a challenge for me but I enjoyed it a lot I really did I really did enjoy it a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and use her uh, beast mode her beast mode blender brush jh30 to put my highlighter on so let's see how good this highlighter looks or how beaming and shiny it'll be on my skin you know you know highlighters sometimes don't they don't appear on my skin i think they're, they're too light for me or I don't know, they just don't appear, but we'll see how this appears on my skin. I'm trying to get some in there, I'm trying to get some. Come on, come on. Okay, here we go. So, okay, got a little bit into this cap. I'm gonna put this brush in here, tap it. I'm just gonna, I need a, a mirror. I'm just gonna do a little swoop, swoop, little gliding here. Can y'all see it? Oh, like it blends in with my skin tone. I can see like a little glow, but like it's not like like out of this world glow on my skin tone now it is because I put too much now I just look like like just like a, now it's like I just put like a line of highlight on me it's like I have to use a lot of highlighter for it to show up on my skin tone I don't know why that is but it always it never fails So that's how much highlighter I have to put on my skin in order for you to see it. Oh my goodness. Why is that? Why doesn't it work for me? But it works for everybody else. I'm doing it wrong. <sighs> maybe someday, someday I'll get it right. Or maybe someday, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It can't be all highlighters. This is really good. This is a really good formula though on this highlighter. To be honest with you. Ooh. I had to put I had to put a lot, so that's why it's come out like that. I'm gonna blend it out. But uh, this is a really good formula on the highlighter. I really like that. It matches the eyebrow bone highlight that I used from her palette. So And blend that out just blend it 
See, that's how much highlight I have to put on my skin in order for you to see it. Other than that, you won't see nothing. But it is wonderful. It's pretty. I like it. I really do like this highlighter. Do y'all like my look though? My eyeshadow look? I like the I like the look I created. <laughs> I'm just just admiring my work. admiring my work what do my gems think did y'all like the look so did y'all want me to create more looks with her with her palettes that I have from her vault leave your comments down below let me know what y'all think did you like this look and don't forget to watch uh, truly mke Carlos he's my fellow youtuber he's the one that kind of gave me a little nudge to try my collection from Jaclyn Hill because I have her collection. I just have not used it. I've been doing other tutorials. I've been doing unboxings. I've been doing other other makeup products. So, um, time for the finishing touch. The Morphe, the, the famous Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Better sit back. Better step back. Here we go. Okay, so let's close my eyes. It smells good too. I got it in my hair. I got some tiny mess in my hair. Oh my god. It's okay. I'm gonna take a shower here in a minute. In a minute. I'm gonna take all this off. But oh my god, I got some mess in my hair. <laughs> but um, there you have it. That's the overall look. Thank you for watching my gems. Give my video a thumbs up because it helps out my channel. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And um, I'll see you in my next video. I love you my gems.